What do you get your fellow photographer friends, more specifically into photographers, or maybe you're just looking for something cool for yourself? Well, you're in luck because I'm gonna help you find some amazing things for under $25. Yeah, let's dive into it. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. Hey, welcome in. Man, I got a great video for you today. Hopefully this will solve a lot of your issues and problems that you're facing. What do you get your friend or significant other that's an instant photography shooter? Or, you know, maybe being a little selfish this year and you wanna buy something for yourself. Nothing wrong with that. You deserve it. But you don't wanna break the bank. Well, I got five things here that I'm gonna show you that are under $25. So I'm gonna use the word cheap in a sense of cost, not in quality, because these things are pretty amazing quality for their price. Oh, and links to all of this can be found in the description below, plus some extra goodies and honorable mentions that I've found. So first thing on the list is a bag. And this one is something you've seen before. I've made a couple of videos on it over the past couple of years, and I still stand by it, mostly because of the quality. This is the business king. I just threw on a bunch of pins. That's probably why it looks slightly different than last time. But this bag goes everywhere with me. It's small, it's compact. It fits pretty much any Polaroid slash instant film camera, except for the big boxy type cameras. But it'll fit the Polaroid Go just fine. SX70 folding cameras in here. You can fit Instax wide, Instax cameras in general, pretty much every Instax camera will fit in here. And if you don't mind it being a little bit clunky, you can technically fit the little Lomo wide camera in here. But why do I like this so much? Well, one, the quality, like I said. I've used this for a couple of years now and it looks like I, the day I bought it. This thing is durable. I've traveled the country with this thing. But one specific thing that this has over a lot of the other ones is the fact that it is padded. Yes, this is padded just like a camera bag would be, but it's not being sold as a camera bag, just being sold as a sling bag. This bag is really great if you're just going out for a quick street photography walk or to a party, because you could fit a camera in here and like an extra pack of film, and you have an extra slot that I like to use for the photos themselves. There's a couple of internal pockets, but I don't really use those often, but those can come in handy as well. And the best part is of all this, this is only like 16 bucks, yeah. The next thing on the list is albums for your photos. So the last few years, I've been searching for the best photo albums to buy. I've bought a ton of them just to test out and majority of them aren't that great, not that awesome, but I found a few that are pretty good and I'm gonna talk about them right now. So let's start with the Polaroid specific one. And that's this one. This one is considered the large album by Polaroid. It's got like a pleather, binding really nice and this is my 2021 edition of my best photos i took last year i put this together during my annual live stream where we hang out and chat and i show off some of the photos i've taken that particular year and i build out my favorite photos but yeah this thing is great you can fit 120 photos inside this and this is 19.99 from polaroid i recently saw a target stocking things on the shelf that's pretty cool. Now there is a smaller version of this. I can't remember how many photos that holds, but I have linked it down below. I think it only holds like one photo per page. Now for Instax, this one has been actually kind of difficult to narrow down a really good one. There's a lot of them out there for Instax. Polaroid on the other hand, there's really nothing. Instax, there's a lot of varieties. A lot of them are garbage that I've found. But I found one that's pretty awesome and it's incredibly inexpensive, AKA cheap. This was like 10 bucks. Again, links can be found in the description. And this holds 280 photos. I can't remember exactly. Mini film that is. I don't shoot a lot of the mini film, so this is perfect for me, but it's a plastic binding and the photos just slide in from the side actually. They don't go top, they're not top loaders, they're, they load it in from the side. And yeah, it's really great. You can hold a lot of photos. And this is perfect for me, like I said, because I'm not a huge insects mini shooter. Now what I have also done is left in the description a link to a larger 
one. It holds like 500 something photos. I've also left the links in the description for square and wide. For the square one, it's really hard to find anything for that for some reason. I wish some of these companies would get on board with this, especially Fuji. Why aren't you making albums for your photos? Come on. And now you're probably wondering about the wide photo. Well, check this out. You can actually fit wide photos inside the Polaroid album. So if you're into that sort of thing, cross contaminating your photos, this will work just fine. You can actually load in full 120 photos of Instax wide. Just note, if you shot your photos in horizontal, they'll be in vertical to fit them inside here, unfortunately. However, I still got you covered. There's a universal generic album that I found that fits Polaroid as well as wide film. So check it out. Next up is lighting. Yeah, a little pocket light. Whew, I have a couple of these things and they are fantastic. And the coolest thing about this is they're generic. You'll find them with a variety of different names on them because they're just some Chinese company that other companies just buy up and slap their logo on, but they're the same. Now, with one exception, uh, newer actually has their own style that's reminiscent of this one. And I actually left that one in the description just because newer is actually an excellent brand and they got really high quality products, especially for the price. I believe theirs is about $22 and they have sales on it a lot. And I think right now it might even be on sale for like $17, but it does the same thing as these. This is just a little pocket light you can change different colors different effects really nice for lighting your photos especially if you're doing some studio shots even walking around outside this comes in handy but i use this a lot for like little toy photography or just lighting the backgrounds kind of like i am now you see this light back here side note it's not being lit by this but it's being lit by another light but it's the same effect i throw a light behind me and i take like my self portraits and things this has endless possibilities and plus if you do any video shooting works for that too Really nice. And you can even stack them together. They have cold shoe mounts wrapped all around so you can just keep on stacking them and build out a giant light if you really, really wanted to. Next up, camera straps. <laughs> yeah, I've tested a lot of straps and used a lot of straps over the years and I know I, I'm a kind of a Polaroid fanboy. I will admit that. However, Polaroid strap, the one that they actually make and produce has been by far my favorite strap that I've ever used, even for digital photography. <laughs> but I don't I wouldn't trust this with a digital camera. So don't use it for that. If you do, do it at your own risk. It's called the Polaroid round strap and it is so comfortable. Uh, and you don't have to use it specifically for Polaroid cameras. You can actually use it on pretty much any camera that has a camera strap mounting system. But it has a quick release system on here. You can just take it off and put it back on if you want to. It's very versatile, high quality. I've been using this for the last, I don't know, six-ish months? And been thoroughly pleased with it, by far the best. Most of the time when I'm using a camera strap, probably can relate to this, but as you have it around your neck and you're walking around, it moves back and forth and you start getting that like burning and itching like feel. I have never experienced that once with this strap. It's soft, it's comfortable. It has a little bit of flex, like a rope. Uh, type material, so it flexes a little bit. So I don't know, I don't get that rubbing and uncomfortable feel that I normally do with other camera straps. Uh, it's just a little bit softer. Ah, I highly recommend this. You can get this in a variety of different colors. They come in and out of stock online. Uh, so if you get one, I would recommend it, you know, picking them up when they're in stock. They're in stock currently on Amazon and I believe uh, Polaroid.com current, currently still has them on sale, but that could change because you know, this video would depend on when you watch it. <laughs> so if the day of the recording, it's in stock. But you can interchange this into like an Instax camera. Again, a digital camera, but, but be careful. I don't know the weight limit of this thing. So just, just do it at your own risk. Uh, maybe with one of those like pocket point and shoot cameras, like a digital camera, maybe. But it's really intended for strictly instant photography cameras. Highly recommend it. The last thing I got for you are camera cases for your instant photo cameras. There's a lot of variety of ca cases out there and I've used several of them. These have been my favorite. There are form fitting cases, which I absolutely love it's for the one step two cameras. Now the listing for Amazon says there's, it fits one step plus as well. I uh, wouldn't recommend that only because the one step plus has a little dial at the top and this is a form fitted case and there isn't a notch for it. So you're gonna be pressing on it pretty hard because this is a snug fit. So I wouldn't recommend this for the One Step Plus, but One Step 2 camera, it's beautiful. And if you put it in here with your camera strap, you can zip it up 
and have it stick out the side and now you can wear it. <laughs> and walk around if you really want to do that, keep it protected. Now this one's for the Polaroid Go. And this one's neat, it's not a form-fitted case. It sits in here really nice and you have an extra slot for a couple packs of film. And it closes up and you can keep it nice and protected for traveling. There's a case like this that I have linked in the description as well that is a universal case for all Polaroid, like newer iType cameras. Uh, that's in there as well as more of this design, but for Polaroid cameras, I'll fit them all. And of course, all you in-stack shooters, I got you covered as well. Again, links in the description. Which one was your favorite? If you get any of them, let me know in the comments below. We'd love to know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this has helped you in your buying decisions and gift giving this year. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Now, get out there, make some more.